Your poses look bad because you're doing them wrong. Roblox rigs are simple, but that doesn't mean posing is. If you just throw your limbs around randomly or barely even throw them around at all, it's gonna look stiff or it's gonna look unnatural. But if you know what you're doing, you can make any pose look natural and professional. Today, I'm gonna show you how. Posing good starts with knowing the basics of how to actually pose. And lucky for you, Roblox rigs are pretty simple. Here's the basics for how to pose a rig and some very important tools and features to use. I'll be using the Roblox starter rig since they're the most commonly used rigs. I'll link them down below as well as a full course on how to use them if you want to learn more than what I'm about to show you. First of all, select the armature of your rig. It's this one right here that has that little icon. Or in your viewport, it is just these black lines that are the bones of the rig. Then with that selected, you can go up to this thing right here and change it to pose mode you can also just use the shortcut control tab to switch in and out of pose mode once again pose mode is only available if you have your armature selected and now it's as simple as selecting whichever bone you want to rotate or move because yes sometimes you do need to move bones not just rotate them to achieve a less stiff pose just select it and go ahead and use the rotation or move tool or you can use r on your keyboard and then choose the axis you want to rotate it on or of course g to move it and then whichever axis you want to move it on i highly recommend learning all of the key binds just so you can pose easily without needing to go in and you know adjust your camera to move everything on a specific angle it can be kind of annoying so learning the key binds um is a really handy thing to do now something important to note that i notice a lot of beginners get confused with is no you cannot rotate the arms sideways like this or backwards you can't rotate them this way at least on the lower arm of course and that's because you can't actually do that in real life unless you want to go through tremendous pain the only way you can bend your arm like this is by rotating your upper arm first and that's exactly what we're doing here i just thought i'd mention that because i did notice a few people do get quite confused with that so now that we've kind of got all of the basics covered of just how to go into pose mode and pose it let's get into some very important tools and features to use firstly there are two ways to move your bones there is fk and ik fk or forward kinematics moves each bone separately it gives you full control and looks natural but adjusting multiple joints takes longer fk is the default thing you're going to be using at least on the starter rigs and it's where you just pose each bone manually now you might not really understand what I'm talking about until I mention IK or inverse kinematics. This can be used on both the arms or legs and as you can see it removes the knee or the elbow bones. It just has them controlled by the feet or the hands and this one's super nice for quick poses and the legs can also be paired with the fancy feet setting which will just make the feet flat on the ground. Now it really comes down to personal preference. Some people like having full control over each bone and use FK while others like the ease of using IK. Once again it's personal preference but I tend to use IK for the legs and just normal fk for the arm to enable fk head into pose mode on the starter rigs and under each of these stars you can adjust the settings of each correlating limb in your end menu which you can open by clicking in under item and then under properties with one of these stars selected here is where you can switch the fk slash so ik switch and switch between the two different settings and of course also enable fancy feet if you do want to have your feet flat on the floor like that if you want to learn more about all of this stuff once again go ahead and check out the full starter rigs course i have linked below there's also a couple of tools built into blender that make posing a lot easier first of all up here the orientation of your movement slash rotation tools are important the only important ones you need to worry about are the global and local if you're out of pose mode and you rotate your rig then go back into pose mode you'll see that the rotation tool is not aligned correctly and this can of course make it pretty difficult to pose so that's where this orientation comes in by default it's set to global and global movement rotates the bone based on the world so you can see the y axis and the x axis later out on the floor here and you can see that the rotation tool here aligns with that too so it aligns with these straight lines but it doesn't actually align with the rigs so if you try to rotate on one axis it's not rotating the correct way while if you switch this to local the movement rotates them based on themselves always use local when rotating limbs it keeps everything aligned properly and then there's individual origins by default when multiple objects or bones are selected blender rotates everything on a single pivot like that which isn't always ideal going up to this little link right here and changing it to individual individual origins lets you rotate multiple limbs at once without messing up their positions it probably doesn't work best here just because of the wrist so if i just do these two bones here you can see that it's bending the lower arm on its own pivot here's where it can really be used though is under the boy rig you can once again go under the start and enable finger bones here if you have individual orange 
Here if you have some finger bones selected and individual origins enabled, if you rotate it, of course, it's going to rotate it more into a fist, which is really, really nice. Compared to the default medium point one, it's just rotating the upper finger. So it's nice to be able to make fists, but actually, while I'm here, I'll also mention another setting under here, which is fist control. This does let you just control the fist there, so you don't really need to worry about the individual origins thing, for fingers specifically, but it is quite a nice thing to know. Now that you understand the rig, let's actually start posing. The biggest problem I've noticed with beginners having bad posing is just stiffness. Robots rigs are already blocky, so if you leave the limbs perfectly straight, they'll just look completely lifeless. Always add slight bends to each bone, like the upper and lower arms and legs. Even if the character is just standing still, even a small bend makes a huge difference in making it look more natural. Although another thing that kills a pose is when the torso and the head are completely straight too. Just subtle twists and bends in the torso and head make the character feel more natural. In real life, people don't stand like mannequins. There's always some sort of tilt or rotation or slight bend or shift in the body even just small adjustments can add more life to a pose of course though when you stand up in real life your legs aren't slightly bent that's once again going back to what i said before is robux rigs are blocky they have no like muscle definition they're just blocks so you have to add these bends to just make it less stiff so if your pose looks stiff and unnatural try this just bend the limbs all slightly right rotate the torso a little bit and tilt the head rotate the arms and the legs just a little bit those things alone will fix 90 percent of stiffness issues one of the easiest ways to make a pose look better is asymmetry if both arms or legs are just doing the exact same thing it looks robotic it looks unnatural even if the character is just standing still offset one slightly it makes them feel more natural shift things around maybe one arm is raised higher one leg is bent more or the hips are slightly rotated or something's just shifted off to make it not completely symmetrical these tiny changes add more realism to it another trick is exaggeration most beginners under pose their work they're afraid to push movements too far but slightly over exaggerating things actually makes them look a lot better Try bending the back a little bit more, stretching the arms further, tilting the head slightly more. If it looks too extreme, you can always just dial it back, but it can just make the pose feel more alive. And a side note too is remember the viewer is only seeing from the camera view. There's this meme that's been going around sort of recently where it shows what the viewer sees versus what the artist sees, and obviously what the artist sees can sometimes be completely deformed compared to through the camera view. So just base it all off of how it looks in the camera view. Over time, you will get a better eye for what actually looks good with posing and you'll know what to do with it. A good pose it just looks right and that comes from where you place the legs how the torso leans how the limbs follow through if a pose looks stiff or awkward it's usually because something isn't supporting the movement properly of course if they're like on one leg shift the torso slightly so it doesn't look like they're tripping over you know keep in mind the balance of the character like here if both legs are back like that he's leaning forward a lot he's gonna fall over and if he's in sort of a standing still position like he's meant to be yeah he's falling right over if he's standing on one leg once again he's gonna fall over that way so we'll of course just need to adjust him by moving his torso along slightly also moving along the leg with it now we sort of balanced more on that leg maybe you want to rotate the torso a bit too but for more action poses like running or jumping the key is making everything follow the motion of course if they're running lean them forward slightly as i said before don't lean them if it's a standing still pose because then they'll just be falling over but with a running pose they're in motion so they're already unbalanced that's actually something i've noticed with beginner running poses their torsos aren't bent so it just looks completely unnatural extend one leg back and don't keep the arms stiff make them move naturally with the leg if they're jumping bend the legs a bit keep the torso engaged with the movements and make sure it doesn't look like they're just floating mid-air for like a fighting pose for example keep the body slightly angled one foot forward and the arms positioned like they're actually ready for something not just hanging there the easiest way to tell if a pose is wrong just look at it if something goes off adjust it a slight tilt to the torso a small leg repositioning or even just angling the arms differently can instantly make a pose feel more natural it's really something that you will get a better eye for over time you'll understand how to actually pose a lot better as you you know just get better at Roblox GFX in general and trust me once you get better at posing you'll realize how easy it was all along as you can tell here sometimes it takes a lot of adjustments before you get it right one of the best things is you can always go on google and find real life references search up like running pose examples or jumping pose you can of course find roblox posing references even minecraft ones since minecraft rigs are blocky too but if you're going to use real life references you have to adjust them for roblox proportions since of course rigs don't bend the same way as human bodies a one-to-one -one copy just won't look right instead of copying a reference exactly just you know use it as a guide and adjust things to fit the rig the goal isn't to make the pose look realistic it's to make it look good within the limitations of a roblox character all right now that the pose is done let's just make some small fixes because of course there are always tiny little things that could be adjusted for example i think this leg here uh, is a little bit too far out so i'll just go ahead and select it move it in a little bit maybe even the same for this leg here maybe i'll enable fancy feet on this one since this one is going to be laid out flat on the floor 
while this one back here is kind of mid-ear. Check if anything looks weird, maybe a hand is clipping into the torso or an arm feels just a little bit too stiff. Sometimes just tilting the head slightly or rotating a foot can make a big difference. So here's the final sort of pose. Once again, it's probably not perfect, but I think it does follow all of the criteria we covered. So all of the bones are bent very slightly to make it look more natural. Of course, back here it isn't because he is launching off of this leg. But if you see here, if I don't make it fully extended, it just doesn't look like there's as much force in his movement. The pose is quite over-exaggerated, like he's really reaching out for something, launching away from something, running really intense. There's all subtle twists in the torso and the arms and everything to make it look natural. It's of course very asymmetrical too. If you split the rig in half, it is not the same on both sides. And there we go, that actually made it look a lot better, just making that arm straighter, because of course he's launching off of the back lead so it's a lot straighter, and then he's reaching for something with his front arm here. So having that a lot straighter does just make it look a lot more intense and exaggerated. So a quick recap, right? Don't leave the limbs stiff and straight. Make sure the pose actually follows the motion. And always just go back in and make any little adjustments, fine tune everything to get that final professional look. And that's it. Now you know how to pose a rig like a pro. If this helps, subscribe for more GFX tutorials and let me know what you want to see next. Join the GFX Run Discord server. We've got a huge event going on right now. Link in the description below. Discord.gfx. Discord.gg. 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 Disc